So in this video, we are following on from um, recording adjustments. We've so far recorded adjustments for closing stock and depreciation, and we're now going to record adjustments for accrued expenses and prepaid expenses. Um, so we have we, we recorded our closing stock and our depreciation expenses, you can see in here. We're now moving down. We've got a heating and light bill. Um, that is due, but it's unpaid here at the end of the year. It's worth four hundred pounds, so that's an accrual. And we got rent and rates. Some of it has been prepaid to, a, to the tune of three thousand pounds. We've got to adjust our accounts for this. So let's uh, begin with the heating and lighting bill. Um, the accrual for four hundred pounds. So if we remind ourselves how we treat accrued expenses, um, we are um, effectively, when you deal with an accrued expense, is that accruals always increases income and expenses. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to include some um, expense that we haven't paid for yet, but we will um, in the next period. So um, we're going to make our expenses bigger. And we do that by debiting the account. Um, um, for, for the added value and we're going to credit the accrued expense account so that's within our balance sheet it's a liability in our balance sheet and we're going to credit it. and the reason it's a liability is because um, that that payment is due soon so we've got a financial obligation here so debit the expense account credit the um, accrued uh, ex uh, um, expenses account um, so the value is 400 pounds. We are with heating and light um, here. So we're going to debit the expense account for 400 pounds. And let's be clear, it's the heating and light account that's being debit, debited by 400 pounds. And we're going to do a, a credit for the accrued expense account of an equal 400 pounds. We can see now, again, that the adjustment column balances. So we've done that correctly at this point. Um, now there's only left to transfer it to the correct section. So we've got a credit here. Um, it's a liability. So we put it in the balance sheet. So credit to credit, 400 pounds. Um, and with heating and light, again, an interesting one. We had 18,800 pounds to start out with. Now we're debiting that account. How's that going to end out? Well, if we started out with uh, a debit of 18,800 and we now added 400 pounds to it, when we balance off the account, what we end up with is a debit value of 19,200. Or in other words, we simply add the two together and we get uh, a new value of our new expenses, including the accrual of 19,200. So we can do a similar thing here. So uh, add the two items together will give you 19,200. So that's the accrual done. We also got the prepayment for 3,000 pounds. So again, let's remind us what we do with a, um, a prepaid expense. So prepayment, whether it's an income or an expense, prepayment reduces those values. We paid for some, in this case, we paid for something upfront um, that belongs to the next period. So we effectively want to take out the value of this period and put it into the next. In this case, what we're just doing is taking it out of this period. So if we've got expenses on the debit side, we want to take it out, we have to do it on the credit side. So we credit the particular account, uh, uh, that is the expense account within the profit and loss account, um, and we debit the prepaid expenses, so the, the prepayment within um, our balance sheet. And we debit it also because it's an asset. It is um, um, this, this payment we are made now effectively means that we got a future economic benefit, so the use of uh, the rates in the future has already been paid for. So uh, credit the expense account and debit the prepaid expenses. Um, so um we have got a total value of three thousand pounds and we need to then debit the rent and rates by three thousand pounds um sorry credit it and we are going to debit our prepaid expenses account again for three thousand pounds we can now see as i've done a double entry we can now see that the adjustment column balances again the prepaid expenses is an asset so we simply just debit to debit always 
move it over here. And with the uh, heating and lighting, um, let's just observe what happens. So we had, um, oh sorry, rent and rates. We had our current balance of 12,000 pounds debit, but we then decided to adjust it with our 3,000 pounds credit. So um, the balance effectively becomes 9,000 debit. In other words, 12,000 minus 3,000 gives you a new value of 9,000 pounds. So we've taken out the 3,000 pounds of this period. So the way that that is going to look in our spreadsheet over here is um, that the new profit loss account value becomes 12,000 minus 3,000, 9,000 pounds. Um, and that's it. So in this video, I've demonstrated how to apply prepaid and accrued expenses into our extended trial balance.